Okay. In previous video segments, we learned about a bunch of things. We learned how to install the software, we learned how to open the software, we learned how to create shapes and text to manipulate those, we learned how to import vector files and set basic laser parameters. We also then talked a little bit more about laser parameters and hatching and a little bit of detail, but we've yet to make a mark. Okay, so now we're going to make a mark. First thing you want to do before you make a mark is, again, make sure your laser system's on. Make sure that your system is plugged in to the computer. You have to make sure that your dongle is plugged in. And you want to make sure that your system is in focus. Now, I'm not going to talk about how to focus your system here because there's, this software applies to a number of different um, systems that we have. Basically, all of our fiber lasers use the same software platform as well as our CO2 lasers. And they all have different functionality, different mechanical functionality. In this case, I'm actually connected to a mini, uh, desk, one of our mini desktop 30 watt 3D lasers, and it has autofocus. So I've already got a workpiece set up in my marking area, and I want to know where I'm gonna. I'm gonna make a mark. I'm gonna make my my logo here that you see on the screen. I'm gonna mark that on a piece of stainless. The first thing I want to do is go ahead and hit this selection here that says red point off, and I want to turn it on. And what that will allow me to do then is to go ahead and see um, when, I, when I get to that point, I'll be able to see where I'm going to mark uh, in, my, uh, in my marking area. So I've turned that on. That enables my red laser pointer that actually allows me to pre-position my part and make sure I know where my mark's going to be. Again, I've already focused my laser. I can press the focus button here. hear the beep, 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 and that tells me that my system's in focus. I'm going to go ahead and select my logo. I'm going to go ahead and select both the radium and laser systems. I've got out-of-box preview selected, which means that now when I, uh, when I get to the point of uh, turning on my red light, the pointer red light, it's going to just basically create a red box around my image that I have selected. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. I'll go ahead here and hit red light, and I hit red light on this screen. And now when I look in my laser, I actually have a little rectangle. It's in the center of my piece of stainless that I have on my uh, work table. And it tells me, tells me exactly where my uh, mark is going to occur. Now I know it's in focus, so if I were to go ahead and hit, uh, first thing I do is hit stop, and go over here to mark. If I were to hit this play button right now, I would get a, a mark on my, um, on my laser. On my, uh, the laser would mark my piece of stainless. Uh, before I do that, I'm going to show you one other, couple other things here. I've also got this box right here. This basically also does the exact same thing as selecting the red light. It actually puts a, a red box around the area to be marked on uh, my work area. Um, this is kind of, a, kind of a last check. I use this as a last check before I actually were to go ahead and hit play. I'm going to stop this, and I'm going to go ahead and hit play here. And actually, you'll probably be able to hear this marking. And it's a little quiet, and so you're not hearing anything uh, on my microphone, but it actually, my laser is uh, go ahead and marking my stainless right now. And I'm going to go ahead and stop it before it's done, just for the sake of this video, because you're not, you're not able to see that anyway. But before I stop it, I could pause it, and as long as I don't move my workpiece, sometimes you'll pause it in the middle of the job, make sure it's doing what you expect it to do. And then you can go ahead and restart it, and it continue right where it left off. In this case, I'm going to hit stop and just stop it completely. I'm going to close this box. The other thing I want to show you is I can also do a path preview. So when I hit path preview, now when I have my image selected and I do my red light, turn it on. Now when I look in my screen, or look down in my uh, marking area of my laser, I actually have an outline of radian laser systems being displayed in red, with the red laser pointer, on my work table or on my a piece to be marked, I should say. Um, so there's one, there's two different ways of kind of marking the area that you're, or showing you the area that you're going to be marking. One is with, um, again, with the out-of-box preview, out-box preview, which shows that kind of an outline around the image that you've selected, and then the other one's with path preview. Again, uh, to go ahead and manipulate my piece before I go ahead and actually mark it. I'd use red light, 
It's safer to do it over here in red light instead of using the, the same parameter that it's under mark. So I don't accidentally hit you know, play or accidentally uh, mark my workpiece before I'm really ready. So now I've got my piece positioned and then some focus. Everything's good to go. Now I can go over to my mark area. I can either double, go up, double check or I can hit play, as I showed you already, and uh, basically we would be uh, marking.